Hello again, and thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, in this episode uh, uh, of Basics of Conacol, I wanted to uh, discuss something that is uh, uh, very important uh, for me um, to share with uh, the viewer, viewers of uh, this uh, channel or, and this video. Um, and the title of this, this one is Why, why Conacol? Why do you need to uh, uh, learn it? Um, and I just maybe uh, in order to explain that or share that, I would just like to share my own story with uh, with Conacol and why why did I uh, why am I practicing this and um, why am I so <laughs> enthusiastic about it? Uh, and I am enthusiastic about it because it works it works for me, and I know that it works for uh, many of my uh, students and. Um, I've been experience, experiencing a very, very uh, profound um, ch revolutionary change in my own musical approach and rhythmical approach on the drums. Um, there have been a few elements that uh, drew me in to Conacol. One of them was the fact that uh, um, since the uh, uh, late 90s or early 2000s, I've been on the road quite a lot and um, I'm someone who likes to practice my instrument which is as you can see the drums and uh, but since I'm traveling quite a lot I, I don't get much chance to do that uh, especially at that time when I was uh, you know in the early 2000s especially I was n almost no, uh, no time at home and of course being a drummer, you can't <laughs> really uh, set up your kit in a hotel room uh, somewhere and uh, and uh, bother the neighbors. So uh, I was looking for a way to to still continue practicing. Of course, as a drummer, you always bring your practice pad and your practice sticks and you you do your rudiments and all that. But uh, those things can get a little boring after a while, and. Well, I found that they were for me. Uh, so when I discovered Conacol, I was very happy because suddenly all this travel time that I have been uh, traveling is becoming a, a, a practice time. So I would sit on an on an aeroplane on a transatlantic flight and do a lot, a lot of Conacol. And by the end of my the uh, flight, my my, my head was uh, was. Uh, exploding with takadimis and daddy ginadoms and all that. Uh, some uh, band member who saw me after a long flight told me that he can see the ta takitas uh, coming off my ears and something like that. So uh, uh, it was a very very nice revelation, a good re revelation for me that I could use all this time and practice and progress and I found that very very uh, quickly I was making progress without practicing the drums so much physically so I was able to uh, internalize a lot of rhythms that otherwise I would not ha know how to do um, and I think this is the uh, this is a, a, a profound thing about Conacol that it really helps us with understanding and being aware of all uh, the different variety of aspects of rhythm. So it really, at this point, I understood that it's really not so uh, important for me to uh, study a, a percussion, an Indian percussion instrument, rather just practice conical and then come to the drums and just feel much better uh, in, in my uh, awareness of rhythm, in my rhythmic play. So uh, it was a fantastic revelation for me. The other, the other aspect that I was looking in my own playing, that I was looking to improve, is definition. So for instance, um, uh, when you play a drum fill or a drum groove, um, I wanted to kind of make it more precise or make it more uh, project a little bit more. And I found that uh, with some years of co uh, uh, practicing conical, uh, that aspect is um, is uh, gradually uh, improving in my playing. So I'm able to precise more what I want to say in a rhythmic language. So uh, things become more clear, both to you 
and to the uh, uh, musicians that play with you and also to the audience that come and listen to the music that you are playing. So those two aspects were very, very important for me and I found that uh, uh, only by practicing konako without even doing any Indian percussion or even without trying to uh, practice uh, what I'm, uh, the compositions that I was singing on the drums, even without doing that, uh, I found a lot of benefits by itself. And as I said, for me it was kind of revolutionary um, and really revolutionized my own, my own uh, approach and my own playing. And uh, since then, since I discovered that for myself, I've been very, very excited and very eager to, uh, to share this with other uh, drummers and other musicians. And uh, I've been uh, teaching, you know, guitarists and pianists and drummers and vocalists and uh, musicians of all instruments and all, all styles of music and all levels as well. So it really can apply to all of us musicians. It can, you can really benefit from that. Um, I believe that, I strongly believe that. Um, and that's basically what is gonna call for me. For me, it's more about awareness of rhythm. Okay, how much can you be aware of the rhythm? Okay, there's a lot. Rhythm is such a, a vast, a vast um, a, a subject, a vast aspect of, of music. Um, and, you know, also when I saw the uh, Indian percussionist perform Konakol or perform their uh, uh, beautiful rhythmic composition, I saw that uh, their mastery of, of rhythm is so profound. Is uh, I remember a friend of mine told me that he he's saw uh, one of uh, India's uh, uh, master Merdangamis and it was like, time has stopped so he can he can make the time stop or something like that or whatever you can understand from that but it's a very uh, humbling experience to see how much mastery uh, there is in indian uh, 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 rhythm so um, since i've started to practice i've been seeing a lot of benefits and i i strongly believe that um, we we musician can all benefit from that so either if you're someone who is having some challenging challenge challenges with rhythm or maybe you're someone that uh, just want to make your rhythm better or understand certain things in rhythm say like polyrhythms or or how can i um, uh, play in quintuplets or septuplets and so on and Conocol really gives the answers to 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 all these uh, all these things. So this just is a little anecdotal, you know. I just wanted to share with you my own story with with Conocol and uh, try to inspire you to uh, look look into it and and practice, master it and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.